My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube video, the home of the five minute or less YouTube video because I don't like to bore myself. The only promotion I do is to tell you if you need expert representation and before the IRS we have uh, 200 years of that and we give an initial consultation to you. Today uh, I want to talk to you about what are the flags why you get audited. Now God there are there are a hundred reasons why you get audited, but I want you to know the IRS computer system called DIF, the discriminatory index function, actually kicks out the audit for your return. IRS has a series of algorithms that they use on every single return, and based on what those findings are on a DIF score, uh, algorithm score, IRS decides to go ahead with your low hanging fruit. So all I'm going to do is re go ahead and go over a couple of the things that IRS will will go ahead and, and look at. One of the top reasons that you get audited is because IRS has an AUR under reporter uh, um, under reporter income. That is, IRS matches your W-2s and your 1099s. If you don't have that 1099 or W-2, IRS is going to kick out an AUR audit for under uh, automatic under reporter that lets you know, hey, IRS, we have a 1099 and a W-2, and you have not gone ahead and picked that up on your tax return, so we're going to go ahead and kick out and ask you for more money. So failing to report all taxable income. Many times, earning a very little amount of money can go ahead and kick it out. If you're in certain zip codes and you have a behavior of making a lot of money and all of a sudden you're not making much, that kicks them out too. Now, I'm not saying that's right, but that's one of the reasons that IRS, in fact, could go ahead and do that. Another big one is taking excessive deductions and credits. The algorithms are just, they are focused on, on excessive deductions and credits and how they how they work, especially for the deductions. Um, IRS has what's called a norm, a, a norm for your income versus your deduction. And if your um, deduction kind of for, falls out of the norm for people making that much money, for sure that's going to go ahead and kick out. Uh, for uh, off you, if if you're a non-filer. That's going to kick out. Uh, IRS is, uh, filters, by the way, they don't pick up as non-filers like they should. There's many people that have contacted me that have, haven't filed a return in 10 or 20 years, and they just get by the system. But at some point in time, non-filers, I just want you to know, uh, do, do get picked up. Claiming hobby losses. IRS is huge on this. If you're showing that you got a business and you're not making a profit after two, three years, IRS is going to consider that a hobby and not a business, and they're going to audit you. The problem, too, you got to be aware of is IRS can expand the audit. If they send you an audit for one year, they can go ahead and look at others. Also, the home deductions. They look for seeing if you're taking excessive office in the home. If you have an official office somewhere and you're taking it at home, uh, usually that's going to be pulled fraud. I'm not saying you don't get the deduction, but that's another reason that IRS is going to look at. A lot of time taking an early pay, uh, payment out of a, an IRA or 401k and not picking up the tax, that's going to be another area. IRS has been really big. Their computers are trained for this. And engaging in virtual uh, currency transactions and not picking them up. IRS issued a John Doe summons not too long ago, and they have the names of many people in crypto, and there's a, a line item on your tax return, whether you're trading this. So IRS is getting very aggressive in the, in the, crypt, in the, crypto, in the crypto world. Also, if you don't report income on a foreign bank account, IRS is going to go ahead. Their, um, their, their algorithms are set uh, to do a matching program for this. Claiming the American Opportunities Act, the, o, uh, the AOTC, that's huge. The earned income credit, all the credits 
that you can take. IRS has a filter to pull those up and see if you're eligible for them. Here's the problem. If they find you're claiming the American Opportunities Credit Act or the Earned Income uh, uh, Credit and, and you're not going ahead, you're not legally allowed to take them, they're going to look at the rest of the return too. So it's not, it's not worth it. Avoiding cash transactions. There's various uh, transactions that that are over ten thousand dollars that gets reported to IRS, so that can be a match too. So you want to be really careful about these things, but just remember the IRS algorithms called the DIFF score, the discriminatory index function score, is the big reason. Remember, IRS goes ahead and has a filter for every single item you log in as a deduction on your tax return as it relates to your income. And IRS will pull up those returns that fall out of the national norm. Don't use zeros to end all your deductions on your tax return. That's another indication IRS. You're kind of guessing it's also pretty stupid. Anyway, if I've given you any hints that you need, that's great. I'd appreciate a like or a comment or maybe even a subscription. Uh, subscriptions are big to YouTube because it shows we have some value. So if you could give me one of those. And by the way, you want me to do a YouTube on anything I've mentioned or anything I haven't, let me know. I'd love to do YouTubes. I'd love to make YouTubes. I used to be camera shy, but my M&M man gives me the power. Don't forget this subscription. Thank you very much.